Hi there and welcome to this week's golf equipment q and I'm Valerie Melvin, I'm here with Frank Thomas and we're in the Frankly Frog putting studio here in Orlando, Florida where it's our mission to help you improve your putting. This week we had a question from Brian. Brian uh, wanted to know, Frank, about the use of composites in driver technology compared to just using, you know, titanium. Um, as the inventor of the graphite shaft, which we have behind us in the cabinet here, the original graphite shaft, um, if you come to the studio you can see it, it's just our little bit of history. Um, what do you think, Frank? Do, do these new carbon composite drivers, do they work? Do they help? Will we see more distance? Um, Brian, um, driver technology has, has, has improved significantly over the last 10 years, but over the last five years it really has reached the ceiling uh, based on the laws of physics and also based on a few little uh, additional standards that the USGA has, has adopted. But we have the highest coefficient of restitution on all the clubs in the last five years. We have a maximum moment of inertia or the forgiveness factor. And so, really, there's very little room to move anymore. Uh, yes, you can move weight around a little bit more effectively if you can take some of the material out of the head and replace it uh, with, with, with graphite, some of the titanium, replace it with graphite, which is structurally just as sound, but at the same time a lot lighter. So if you can do that, you have some discretionary weight you can use to move the center of gravity down a little bit and further back, or anywhere else you'd like to, to, to try and, you know, tweak performance. But, you know, really, uh, uh, it's going to cost a little bit more, so you'll feel it in your wallet more than you'll see it on your scorecard. <laughs> <laughs> I like that, Frank. That's good. And what do you think about the shaft length? Because I know that's one of your favourite subjects. Is you know the the longer shafts that the manufacturers are you know installing on drivers. Well, you know the only way you're going to get any increase in distance is increase your club head speed. And so manufacturers are starting now to manufacture shafts uh, or clubs, uh, selling them at 46, even 46 and a half inches, which is absolutely ridiculous because because you know they should be be sold with a snake bite kit. Uh, you are going to hit a ball further if everything comes right and you make connection, but you're going to lose 20 balls between those wonderful shots. <laughs> so, so, so it's really not the go good way to go. I would definitely recommend going to a shorter driver, a 44 inch driver. You'll have control, you'll hit the sweet spot more efficiently, and in the long run, you're going to get uh, uh, your average drives are going to be longer. Very good. Thanks for that, Frank. Um, wonderful information as usual. Uh, we'll be back in touch with you next week and we look forward to bringing you some more great information to help your golf game. Bye.